y'all ever just y'all ever just get on get on into a nice old brew get on get on into a nice old kitchen and brew up some uh brew up some dis just disgusting disgusting fucking slop I, mean, I haven't played this game at all yet you guys into home brewing? I got a big keg of slime inside of my garage. Now I got this gigantic keg of slime in my garage that I was gonna let ferment for the next four to eight days. Then I was gonna crack it open and sip on it until it made me die. I, I, I got this big vat of what looks like mashed potatoes, but it is really an alcoholic beverage that would kill most normal people. But me, a man of culture, I'll be just fine. Brewmaster mode. Whoa, hey. Welcome, Brewer. Thank you. Thank you for the welcome. You're about to take your first steps into the world of home brewing. A world packed with creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beers. Wow. <laughs> Jet, it, here's the thing. Again, I fucking hate beer. <laughs> <laughs> so when this guy walks up to me and he says, it's time to pursue your greatest, uh, the greatest joy any of us could experience, which is making delicious beers. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Can I make like, can I, um, can I use the kitchen just like cook food though? Oh, sorry. I meant to buy cooking simulator. <laughs> Brewing is an art with endless possibilities where true mastery can take a lifetime. Can we like, can we shave a couple, couple decades off of that though? Can, do I, ha does it have to take a lifetime? Bro. <laughs> Does it have to? Can I be done with it in like a week or so? Yeah, at its heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot, throw a few ingredients together, and call it, and create a tasty, thirst-quenching beer. No one. <clears throat> and I mean no one. All right, I'm turning on the webcam to fucking say this. Much like a fucking cup of coffee. No one cracks open a beer and says, this is how I will quench the thirst within me. No one. Beer is beer a quencher? <laughs> that is vile. That's vile. You, you get a glass of water. For ethics, I'm... I, well, it doesn't matter. Move on. So that's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. Brew a beer using the extract brewing method. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Here we are, chat. So uh, here's what I did. I uh, sold all of my property. I, got, I liquidated all of my assets. I turned them all back into solid dollar bills from the liquid dollar forge. I turned them back into dollars, and I used those dollars from the, from the forge uh, to purchase an entire finished brewing uh kitchen this cost me all of my money here we have my brewing pot oh wait that's the trash uh here we have my brewing my brewing pots in here that was a garbage can i know they look the same the s <laughs> same same thing they're the same thing the storage screen is where you can retrieve equipment or ingredients that you own okay i retrieve my brew pot the signs of use on this pot are not damaged, but the honorable battle scars of a veteran and has years of service yet to offer. Was this pre-owned? Well, I've got the pot. Now, how the hell do I cook a beer? <laughs> now, now, chat, you can follow these. You can follow along at home if you want to cook yourself up a delicious beer, a delicious beverage. Everyone get, everyone carry your phone and or computer and or laptop with you to your kitchen. Find yourself a big garbage can. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how to do this. All right, but, but parentheses do not, you're not, you can't legally do that. But parentheses again, but no one can stop you. But parentheses again, but I didn't, but you didn't hear that from me. 
anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the sink and then uh, uh, fill it fill it up with 21 liters of water. How do I take the lid off? <laughs> How do I take? Now that right thing is gonna fill up with a lot of water. And then we're gonna be able to get some alcohol in that and that'll be good to go. Help! Oh, remove lid. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now that's some, now that's some water. One liter. How many liters? 21? Uh, tip. You can use your watch T to accelerate time. Or I can press G to show x-ray. Wait. The x-ray... What the fuck does all that say? Chat, there's no goddamn way this... Does this... Does... Liquid. Okay. Temperature. Okay. Undissolved. Okay. Specific gravity. Original gravity. Those that so the original gravity is one specific gravity unit, which is confusing because that's also the same value of specific gravity. I can only assume. You, those should be I don't know two uh, contamination. One percent contamination. There's there is one value of contamination inside of the drink. This water is contaminated. Wait, why is the water contaminated? <laughs> oh, God. The water filtration facility down the street got some botulism in it. There's some botch in the water. <laughs> we, even a, even like a small teaspoon of botulism in a town water line could kill every single person in it. This is, we do not drink this water. We gotta... <laughs> What's the setting of this game? Where are we? Is this game set in like Michigan? Uh, um, maybe we, maybe I, maybe I sell this place. Maybe we relocate. Uh, um, you must brew at least one beer before ending this season. Fuck! Hey, I'm locked in. There's no windows on the first floor. <laughs> we can't tell exactly where we are, but I know one thing. I'm trapped until I figured out how to brew exactly one beer. Alright, how much fucking longer is this gonna take? Too fast! It's been 30,000 years since I began my work, began my big journey. Some people would dare say. How's the contamination? Can I like... Okay, so here's the thing. Looking good, but how do I fix this? Turn this off. Now pick it up. Now I want to pour only a little. Because I needed 21. Ah! Oh! 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 Twenty-one liters, fucking exact chat. You wanna know why I got that? Because I'm a fucking gamer. For a beer? Okay, put it on the kitchen hob. So chat, what we're doing right now is in fact, you can still be following along at home. Chat, to be clear, to be clear, up until this part, I'm legally allowed to tell you what to do because up until now, all you've done is boil water. All of this is legal. You can do this. You can follow along at home this part. The hob is on. 
Okay, retrieve a camera. Everyone stop watching. <laughs> Everyone shut the fuck up now. Everyone just gotta get lost. This next part you can't see. I'm putting in the special ingredients that turn this from being boiled water into poison. That you could use to either A, get drunk, or B, kill someone, depending on the concentration. Some ingredients need to be stored cold to maintain their freshness. These are found in the fridge freezer. Uh, malt extract. Wait, but there's two different ones. Light or amber? Any malt extract. Uh, I'm gonna retrieve- How many grams of this do I need? Two kilograms? Alright. I say we do an even split. One ki- One kilogram of light. One kilogram of amber. We'll do a mixed beverage. So, this is going to take about 20 minutes. No, sorry, did I say 20 minutes? I stuttered. What I meant to say was two hours to boil. <laughs> That's so much water and such a sad hub. Alright, we're adding these to the pot. Everyone stop looking. <laughs> this is illegal. Oh. One whole kilogram of delicious. <clears throat> Dude, that's a. Now that's a beverage. Now that right there, that there's a beverage. Now let's put in the amber malt. Wait. Wrong thing. Let's get the other one in. There's nothing in this one. Fuck. Wait. But these both, I... These are different ones where they both say amber malt. <laughs> I got confused. It's fine, they couldn't afford two, two models. It's okay. This one's still got the slime in it. That's how we know it's right. There it fucking is. There it is. Mm. Uh, now what? Brew a beer? Okay, retrieve a bag of steeple grain from the ingredients cupboard. Ref uh, retrieve 500 grams of one of the steeple grains. Alright, that's crystal ma malt. Legally, I can confirm to you that it's crystal malt grain, okay? Telling you that right now. 500 grams of it. We're gonna do... We're gonna do an even split again. What if I make my drink very grainy? Chat, what if I make my drink very grainy? Because let me tell you one thing about IPAs. If I can't sip and taste that delicious fucking grain, I don't even want it. Grain it up. <laughs> we need more grain. Clip the steepable grains to the brew pot. Clipped. Clip. Steep, damn you. Steep! Steep! All right, boil the wort in the brew pot. I'm sorry? Continue heating the brew pot until the wort is boiling around 100 degrees Celsius. I wasn't exaggerating when I said this would take two hours to heat. <laughs> yep. Everyone kick on back. We're making a delicious soup. This is the fun part. Vod viewers, <laughs> just get the hell out of here now. How about that? Now I knew you can't handle it. Easy, easy. We're almost there. 
100, 100 degrees Celsius. It'll be there any second now. All right, I need I need bittering hops and one bag of British hops. Uh, fuck. Um, fuck. Uh, grab a hundred grams of this one. Okay. And a hundred grams of this one. Of course, everyone loves the Magnus for its delicious, crisp, clean, fruity, spicy, peppery, and herbal flavor. And we're going to want to add a sense of crisp, clean, fruit, and spicy, and pine, and cedar, and floral, and berry flavor into the holder down. Or we add a little bit of Ruggle, which has that mint flavor we love so much. It, this one doesn't say how much, mar like, a bag goes into it. So, I'm just gonna toss him in and shrug. Add the bag of bittering hops. Oh, fuck. Wrong bag. There it is. There it is. Now we let this cook for a thousand years. Continue to boil for another ten minutes. I lost count of time. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I, 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 when did we start the clock? It's starting to, it's starting to look alive. <laughs> Chat, the beer's starting to look alive. I'm gonna let some of it boil off. That's starting to look so like I don't like to look at this thing. We we, we we waited another two hours to touch it. There's algae forming. <laughs> okay. Uh remove all the packs and turn it off. Alright, everyone just calm down. Wait until the brew pot smalls at a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius or lower. It's vital to cool the wort before adding yeast. We gotta let this thing cool. Can I throw all this in the garbage? No? <laughs> yep. Now that's what I like to see. Now this is gonna need about 20 minutes to cool off. You're going to kill your player. I I'm not gonna fucking drink it. <laughs> what are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? What are you fucking losing it? I'm not gonna fucking drink any of this shit. Now I know you must be crazy. Just pour some ice in. I'll just put it in the freezer. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm just gonna just put it in the freezer to cool it off. Uh, leave it there. I'm gonna advance one day. This is an aged vintage. <laughs> <laughs> now what we're making here is a delicious aged vintage. Oh, uh, delicious. One of, the, one of the most lovely wines. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on the stove for a hundred days. I'll rest here. For a hundred days, this beer will age on my countertop. <laughs> Century beer. <laughs> Century beer. Mmm, now these guys are gonna fucking love this. Day 101 of spring. Did a poison control team come and empty out my entire drink from the pot? <laughs> it's alive! And it's, something's crawled out of the building! Chat, I got bad news. We're gonna have to restart the beverage. It's okay, though, because... 
Uh, I think they might have cut water. I, I think I think I might have had my utilities cut. Uh, the tap isn't working anymore. <laughs> Do I have to pay? Do I have to pay bills? Chat? Do I have to pay <laughs> bills? I don't know what the how to fucking pay bills. I have to make one beer to leave the room. Okay, think. How do I get water without using the sink? Maybe there's another room. He's frozen in time. Fucking talking about times at one. I wasn't paused. You fools. Time was just moving at the same speed it should move. We're locked inside the building. Uh, um, I'm gonna try putting this in the freezer and then I'll take it back out. Okay, now the thing ate my uh, chat. I didn't think it was possible to lose in Brewmaster, but I lost Brewmaster by trying to make a brew that took a. I tried to make the century brew and I failed. But if this fucking game thinks it's gonna beat me on this, it's out of its goddamn mind. I need to restart this. I actually managed to, I, I, I actually truly lost in Brewmaster. All right, let's get that brew pot brewing. Retrieve that brew pot. We're gonna need to get this thing down immediately. Take off the lid, chat, see my, oh my God, I know what my fuck up was. Advanced time. Looking good. I know what my fuck up was. Chat, it wasn't that I fucking, it wasn't that it evaporated. I didn't put a lid on it, it escaped. It, I needed to put a fucking lid on the goddamn thing. It all makes sense now. But I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna make that mistake twice. Mm -mm -mm. Oh fuck, I needed the malt extract in there the whole time. We can still fix this. I'm gonna want, I, I, we don't have heavy malt, so I'm just gonna add like 10 kilograms of normal malt. Instead, to make it heavy, I think on this one. How much is this? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, I've just poured in like I I just poured in like a fucking gallon of beef extract into my brew. I'm right now I'm just making a delicious stock of like some kind of like wonderful like soup inbound. My my delicious brew is rising. <laughs> like a like a witch, I laugh and I chuckle as I toss the rest of my cauldron ingredients away. I need steepable grains now. <laughs> I need to get crystal meth inside this fucking thing. We need to steep the grain. I need to steep the grain. Steep. Continue heating the brew pot until the wort is boiling around 100 degrees Celsius. Sure. Fine. Fine. Yes, steep into some kind of disgusting shit water. Yes. 
Yes, excellent. And boil, boil away, my delicious beverage. Boil. It's time. We need Magnus. 100 grams of Magnus. And I, 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 I'm looking for a flavor. I want a beer that tastes like you're eating dirt, which is why I've gone for the Ruggle, which is, of course, has flavor notes of grass, wood, dirt, flowers, and mint, which is mostly dirt. That Most of that's going to taste like dirt, which is what we're looking for. Toss that Ruggle in. Get the fuck out of the way. Why am I not able to place this Ruggle? I'm confused. Is it still not warm enough? Is that the problem? Or do I have to take off the other stuff? Because I thought the other stuff like processed. Get to 100 degrees Celsius now. Before it's all cooked away. Come on! I'm losing brew! Get out of here. Continue to boil for 10 minutes and then remove all bags and turn off the hob. You're nothing to me. Oh yeah. It's looking good. And now? Why am I why am I dangling my socks into the brew? Would you like to know? It's for flavor. It's for flavor. I did not check how much time it passed. Once again, I overshot the, the bar. But it's okay, I'm watching much more closely this time. We're gonna let this boil down to 17 liters. And then we're gonna get that. All right, let's get this out of here. Remove these three. Why did it go back to the 21 liters of water? Here's the thing, it's giving me a tutorial, but all I have to do is finish brewing. Turn off. No, 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 the tutorial isn't true. All it says I have to do in the objective is finish the brewing process. Chat! I've contained the creature. What do I do? You guys are the new tutorial. <laughs> Katie, you played this game. What do I do now? I don't know. I have to let it. I have to let it cool. I believe I have to let it cool. I'm gonna... Not available in this part of the. This game's pushed me to my limits. Hang on. Hold up. No, 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 no. Disable the tutorial. I don't fucking need you. Another day, another dollar. Let's get to work. Open the Brewers Quarterly Magazine. Let's get to work. I'm here to make the Century Beer. All right, let's see here. We got a job to make Dark Matter. Uh, we got a job to make a Sensational Citrus. All right, I don't know what's happening here. I'm gonna have to make a low batch size with some dark malt extract uh, uh, stuff in there. <laughs> Fine, dude. Fine. Fine. We're gonna make one brew by the books, okay? It's time for sure, nurse. It's time for sure, nurse, nurse! Feel it. Good enough. It didn't fuck up the tutorial, good enough. Let it keep going. Speed up, let it boil. Let's start getting there. 
Game is paused. All right, we grab two kilograms of any extract. I choose too light. We're not tampering with the machine this time. Too light. Go, go, go. Pour in the machine. Get that disgusting shit in there. Get the rest in there! Yes. <laughs> Steepable green. 500 grams. All Vienna crystal, baby. Steep it. Steep for me. Steep. All right, now we gotta let this boil. Boil it! All right, we're good. Close the watch. All right, now, 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 20 grams of any bittering hops, 50 grams of any British hops. Uh, we're gonna do all polar down, okay? And we're gonna do 20 grams of Magnus. Good, good. Steep it. Boil for another 10 minutes. This is where I always fucked up before. It's 220. 1220. Now it's 1230. Close my watch. Are, are, are you not boiled? I did this all by the books. And it's not telling me the job is done. You can shut up now. Oh, you guys want me to remove the bags while well, it didn't fix the fucking problem because that wasn't the solution, you fools. I think it's just not technically boiling yet. And the hob? Oh, that's weird because that's also off now. Okay, there we go. This can go in the garbage. Let some small animal eat them. All right. Now we go ahead and we wait one day for the yeast to cook. Okay. 22.56. Now... We're going to go ahead and pull out a fermentation container. I need this in a container or apparently it blows up and kills me. Pour the wort into the fermentation container, small. Whoop! While holding the brew pot, look at the fermentation ca container. Hang on, I gotta take off the top first. Yeah, we still have a chance to turn this into a century wart. Just have to pour it all in first. Holy shit, this is vile. Mmm, dude. Mmm, mmm, man. Now that's a, now that's a beverage. Now that's done. Now that's looking tasty. Retrieve a packet of yeast from the fridge. Okay, for yeast to ferment, the wort must be within its optimal temperature. Outside this yeast will begin to hibernate or even die. That's why cooling the wort before adding yeast is vital. All right. I choose SoCal Ale 1. No, I want mild ale. Give me that. Now, pour all of the yeast into the container. Then close the lid. Grow, my children. <laughs> grow. Go on, my children. Now, now grow. Arise. Use the calendar to wait 15 days. Okay. I waited 100 days before and the game got mad at me. So that's kind of freaking BS. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar from the ingredients cupboard. Okay. I've got a bag of corn sugar. Add 150 to the container. Pop this open. 150? But I want my IPA to taste good, so I should add more sugar. Oh. oh. Okay, we're good. It's enough. Throw this out. We're doing this by the books. Okay. Retrieve a plastic barrel small from the cupboard. 
Transfer your beer to the conditioning container. You'll need a tube. You can find tubes in the flow control category. Okay. Connect the tube. Yep. I think I need to move this into a different position. It's not... It, the, there it is. Now we connect these tubes. Like so. Yeah, that's how that works. Use the tube to transfer. Okay. Why not sip it out of this? Oh, it's working. Wait, only... Okay. I need to put the lid on. No, it's equalized. Trenches will work. Make sure the tap is open and the container is lower than the fermentation container. God fucking damn it. Gravity. You're pissing me off again. Yeah, I'll just put it on the fucking ground. Yep. Yep. There it is, dude. Okay. Close the barrel's lid and wait for f 20 days. Okay. Whoop. In 20 days, there's going to be an average IPA that people will spit out and say, What is this shit? At every bar in America. It's a goddamn tear to my eye. Taste and package your beer. <laughs> Do I have to? All right, Chad. Let's get this. Let's bring this over to the tasting zone. If I had to describe that in any way, I would call it pale and flat. And clear. If I had to describe it, I would say it's malty and sweet, which is a better version of an IPA. I'd also say it's a little uh, crisp and clean. But there's something a little off about it. Ooh, I don't like hoppy and bitter. Okay. Okay, piss in a glass. Uh, the packaging screen is where you can name your finished beer. That's vague and ominous. I'm sure people will drink that. <laughs> I didn't fucking mean to. Uh, we're going to package it in an English style. A bottle. A Belgian. It's the only one we own. Glass. <laughs> Coffee cup. A uh, label. The volume of the text. <laughs> Do not confuse the amount of liquid in the bottle. Let me be clear. The amount of the liquid in the bottle is significant and important to the product. There's eight milliliters of drink in this. The rest is gas. Do not open. Anywhere but a vacuum. Rest is hot gas. The illustration, wildly enough, was here all along.
Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Yeah, <laughs> I tricked this. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I tricked that. Yeah. Ship it. I didn't mean to do it. <sighs> just realize you just can't be the thing that defines my legacy. I almost pressed that and I feel like it would ruin the tutorial. We gotta leave with this. Wait a minute. It doesn't say anywhere that I need to. No matter what, I can always receive a new bottle from the seller. We made hundreds of thousands of barrels of fucking, I didn't mean to do it. There it is. Yep. There it is. I didn't mean to do it. One of the best beers I ever made. One of the only beers I've ever made. An eternal reminder of my sin, of my, of my legacy. Hang on. There we go. Pick up the Brewer's Quarterly Magazine. <gasps> Am I in this? Greetings, Brewer. Do you know what the best thing about brewing is? People want to drink it. What? Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. Wrong, Jeff. <laughs> I wouldn't drink anything made by this guy. I've sent you a copy of the Brewers Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers, recipes, articles, a catalog, and least but last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity. Brewer service are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn income whilst increasing your brewing mastery. Why not give one a go? All right. Well, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. At the start of each season, you'll find new jobs, recipes, and articles. Uh, okay, I gotta pick a job. So, Chad, we have two options. Either I can make a sensational citrus, or I can make one that I can't read because of this tutorial on the screen. Uh, but Jeff's tip, recipe for an American stout extract is ideal for this job, as it uses dark malt. Uh, we want something, uh, we want something that tastes vile and disgusting, so I'm gonna track this one. Now that you have a job in mind, let's pick a recipe. <clears throat> okay. There'll always be two recipes in each brewer's quarterly, which are automatically added to the collection of recipes in your journal. Each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved, and the estimated final stance of the beer. When doing a job, you'll always want to pin a recipe, okay? I don't... I can't read if this is the one I want because it's a tutorial in my way. I believe I want my stout to look like poison. <laughs> what was my job? I want to make something uh, with a dark malt extract, an American stout. Well, that's an American pale ale, so that's not what I want. I want this one, an American stout. I want to make something that just looks like, looks like awful, like terrible. Okay, cool. And then we have actual lore uh, we have brew lore all right i mean i get it now i don't think i need i don't think i need more tutorial because i think you can just follow the recipe yeah it's got a recipe there's a goddamn we're just following recipes oh yeah i don't need this tutorial anymore all right we're going we're going we're going fresh now i get it new game clean no tutorial another day another dollar and this time with no horrible beer in my kitchen another day another dollar let's make sure that my other beer is gone very good we're on a, we are an unknown person in the industry 
Uh, I'm I'm always gonna miss that that delicious beverage. Uh, but this time I just won't have a tutorial telling me what to do. Uh, we are going to make that dark matter though, because I think I can absolutely do that. I definitely think I can do that. I think dark matter is the one for me. Uh, we got a recipe for an American stout right here. That's exactly what we need. Everything else is pretty much the same. But this time I'm free from a tutorial telling me what to do on the side. So this is the recipe, <laughs> but I think I can make something a little bit nicer than what the job's asking me. All right, uh, what does this job actually want? Uh, all I, <laughs> all the job says is that the batch needs to be small the ingredient needs to be malt extract, and the SRM is at least 20. So that means, chat, that technically, okay, the only instructions are malt, and it should be dark. SRM is just used to measure the color. So what I'm gonna do is make poison today. Here we go. First step of any stout is we're gonna need some water. We know this. Let's place that in there and get this fucking water flowing. Once the lid is off. We're trying to make a powerful beverage that could kill a gorilla if it even smelled it. Now, what we're going to be watching for is things that most amateurs wouldn't watch for, which is, of course, the gravity of the vintage. Chat, what exactly makes something darker? How, how can I make this, like, truly a beverage of antimatter? How dark can I make this, like, a tar color? Burn it. <laughs> I'm going to make the century beer. I, I think I think the dark the more time it spends in there, the darker it's gonna get. I think we make the century beer. Alright. Run off the tap. Pick up. Gonna pour a little bit back in. There we go. Maybe time a bit more. I need space for the beverage. Stop pouring. All right, it's time. <clears throat> it's time. Check. Added 21 liters of brew. Check. Add malt extract to brew container. But check, here's the thing. <laughs> now, now here's the thing. Wait, I don't own a dark malt extract. Wait a minute, I don't own that one. Help! I need to go to the malt store. <laughs> I, I can't leave, I'm locked in. Katie, I, you, you literally said when I started the stream today that you played this game, where's the goddamn store? Where's the goddamn store? Better fucking tell me now. This better be it. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't need her. I don't need her. I got it. We got it. All right. Well, now I'm going to toss in some... Where did it where, where get delivered to? Where's my malt? Is that the door? Oh, there it is. Dark malt extract. Go ahead and retrieve that. Now I've ordered three kilograms of dark malt extract. Now this is a three kilogram jug of extract. Unfortunately, that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> I regret to inform the class that won't be enough extract for me. Matter of fact, I need to make more space for extract. Oh. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need, uh, let's see here, another three of these for this one. 
Is there sad music playing while I do this? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Item already owned. Oh, okay. Does that mean I just have it forever? What good is water? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, what good is water in a post-dark malt world? begin the dark work the contamination on this drink will be 1% and no hot all right currently the color is 700 srm it's rising higher 800 srm 900 srm what did I need to be at for the job? Oh, that bonus objective is locked fucking down. <laughs> oh, we've got that bonus objective locked down. This thing is mostly a solid. When people look at this, all right, when people try to take pictures of this, it's like looking into a black hole. We've got a lot of stuff to dissolve though. All right, that's the thing. But I have confidence that we can and will do it. Oh. <laughs> The liquid chat, what we're doing basically is we need to now allow the liquid to dissolve all of this malt before we can add more malt. Okay, it needs to dissolve. So now I'm gonna get on my watch. I'm gonna watch this for a while while we just let all that malt cook down. There we go. <laughs> what I want to do is make a drink that will kill someone so fast, I actually get my, like, entire house taken away. Does that make sense? So people call me a fucking psychopath. I could live with that. Hang on, how's there more... Okay, no, that's just grams. Okay. I could accept that. <laughs> more fucking goo. Oh, yeah. Yes. Chat, the good news is we will meet the bonus objective. Right? Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, the SRM is breaking 5,000. That's quite a bit more than the 20 I was asked to make. <laughs> we need to let some more of this cook off. All right, we got nine liters of this stuff. The water's doing work, but it's not, it's not enough yet. 
Need to add more in. Nine liters of solid malt extract dissolving as we speak. All right. This one. Is there supposed to be so much protein in beer? Uh, I would argue that what I'm basically making is like a protein beer. Yeah, I'm basically making a protein drink out of beer. Getting so big. There's so much fucking liquid in this. Ten liters. Remember, chat, we started with only three liters of water. Most of this is malt. For every. Whoa! It's happy. Leaves. This is, I would call this unacceptable. I would call this unacceptable. No more. Oh no, there needs to be more. Oh no, 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 there's gonna be more. Oh, there's gonna be more. We're gonna need more. I might need to add some more water. I want my SRM to break 10,000. Only then will I be happy. Only then will my hunger be satisfied. He poured all of his hatred all of his hatred for humanity into one beverage of choice, one delicious IPA, an incredible stout. He poured all of his hatred in over 20 gallon jugs of, of fucking amber malt <laughs> into the fucking brew. It's awful, the sound. Like, are you guys listening to the sound? The horrible sound. Listen to this. Whoa! We gotta let this cook down. Chat, it's stabilizing at 18 liters of liquid. We're almost there. We gotta pick this up a little bit farther. Unfortunately, the job is not done yet. We can fit more in. Why is it bubbling already? The hob isn't on. <laughs> Why is it bubbling already? The hob isn't on. <laughs> it's making some kind of fucking jelly. Ah, uh, folks. Place this here. Thank you. Yes. Whoa! Get that in there. SRM, 12,000. These last two will do it. We 
The gravity, I've created a neutron star in liquid form. I've created a neutron star in liquid form. The gravity is incredibly compressed at this spot. Oh yeah. With enough protein to keep someone alive forever. They'll never have to drink anything but my delicious beverage. Running out of space to put all these fucking jars. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. I think we can all agree that, uh, That's not what I want. I think we can all agree that the first part of this job is uh, done. Now we need to add steeple grain. Black patent. 800 grams, that's an awful lot. Okay, uh, yeah, we can buy that. I mean, it's a lot. I don't know if that's gonna help with the recipe. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely do that. Chocolate! Oh, let's surprise them. Add some chocolate to that. Mmm. One kilogram. Arise, arise, my son. Why won't it let me place it anymore? Why won't it let me place it on the hob? Move, are you guys in the fucking way? Jesus, I'm about to put those inside this drink. There we go. All right. The contamination is rising. Get that fucking hob cooking. We're not gonna add the chocolate. How's the temperature? 10 degrees Celsius already. It is climbing fast. You know what? You know what, though? You know what, though? Why are we limiting ourselves by what the game says is okay? Here's one thing. Here's what I'm thinking. Just a tiny, tiny, just a microscopic five grams, 50 grams of chocolate, just to get a little bit of that mm, flavor in there that the people like so much. All right, so this recipe is now, it's going very well so far is what I would say. Uh, heat the wort until boiling 100 degrees Celsius. We know this. Let this bad boy cook up. Let this bad boy cook up. All right. 100 degrees. Now then, now that it's cooked up, let's get to the next part. Remove steepable grain. Now get that out of there. This is gonna ruin the recipe. We'll eat that and finish it later. I'm not gonna throw that out. Add, add hops to boil for 50 minutes in a cluster. I don't own hops. <laughs> what do you think I am? Some kind of, what do you think I'm some kind of beer guy? You don't own hops. Fuck. Oh wait, yes I do. 
50 minutes in a cluster. We don't own cluster. What is most immediately offensive to my eyes when I see the name of hops? Golding, Kent, Ruggle. Tr what, what kind of flavor? The question is, chat, what kind of flavor am I? Stop the game. Pause the game. What kind of flavor are we, what kind of profile are we looking for? You know, that's the question right now. Because we have the option to really bring an interesting flavor. Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking what a lot of people are saying, despair with a hint of apricot. I'm thinking despair with a hint of apricot. And maybe a little bit of bubble gum. Which one looks like it'll just taste the worst right out of the box? All right, so that's dirt. What the fuck is Saz? <laughs> what does Saz taste like? No, here's what I'm thinking. Now, here's what I'm thinking. This one is... Cluster is literally what it wants! I was gonna say, this one looks the most fundamentally disgusting. And it's what they're calling for! Alright, let's buy that! Classic IPA. Going to grab a hundred grams. <laughs> I'm gonna let this boil for. Oh, it only calls for twenty though. I don't want to overwhelm people with flavor. Fuck it. Fifty minutes of this. Okay, it's twelve forty-eight right now. Let's make sure we don't miss this. Good enough. All right, so what do I do now? Instructions. Added hops. Ah, oh, fuck, I need Ruggle Green. Get this the fuck out of here. We'll finish that later. Uh, I need Ruggle. Uh, a, a five grams. Five grams of some Ruggle. Let's get that in there. Leave that to boil for 10 minutes. There we go. Perfect. It's ready. Remove hops. Cool the wart to 20 degrees Celsius. Not letting you escape this time, fucker. Not letting you escape this time, fucker. You're not going anywhere. Twenty degrees Celsius. Unpause. All right, chat. It's time. Super important at a moment like this to make sure that if we're going to accelerate time to like the century level, we turn on cheat engine. Uh, Cause we're gonna need to accelerate time a little bit farther. <clears throat> okay. What? What? Dream. 
Yes. It's been one year I've left this delicious ooze fermenting on my table without any yeast. The longest summer imaginable time. Stand still, no one can age. For a thousand days, I sat there at my calendar, allowing my delicious beverage to cook. An infinite summer that would not end until I was satisfied. A thousand days! A millennia of days! Standing over this delicious beverage. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. A thousand days. I'm gonna let this one pass naturally. This is going to be so foul. The, I consider foulness the contamination factor. <laughs> Day 1000 of summer. Oh, it burns your eyes even to look inside the fucking bowl. Oh. <laughs> oh. Contamination has gone down. Over the last 1,000 days, I've been decontaminating this delicious brew. It will be pure. Does the contamination change? Is that the thing? 433. Hang on. <laughs> this may be a multi century brew. No, it's locked at 433. Okay. <clears throat> the wart has cooled. We're transferring to the fermentation container. Here we go. It's fine, I'll just pull out another. Time. I gotta take the lid off. <clears throat> oh my god, it's gray. <laughs> it's fucking gray. Oh, I'm doing this at 12.40 a.m. midnight. It's the witching hour. The witching hour has come and I'm going to pour the 2,000 day old juice into the fermenter to begin the second fermenting process. I pray to God no one ever does this in real life. That's not how juice work. That's not how juice work. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's too heavy. The gravity is too high. My God. My God, it's a gravity. It's angry. Oh. oh, that's 
scared it. Now come back, it's okay. Wake back up. Wake up. Wake up. It was awakened, now it's sleeping. <laughs> the surface is calm once more. It moves, it does move. Oh, it moves. All right, what do I need to do now? <laughs> Transfer, done. I need to add yeast. We need 150 grams of this stuff. So Cal L. Just grab some more to be safe. I mean, there's so much extra space. There's so much fucking extra space, dude. There's so much fucking extra space, though, dude. There's like a ton of extra fucking space in this thing, dude. We're gonna just add a little bit more extra space. Fill up some more. All right, hang on. So now I'm gonna do, it's all just, this is all extra crap. We're not gonna need any of that. We don't get any of that when we're going. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. put the lid on. You need to now allow the, chat, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna let this ferment for uh, 15 days, no longer. All right, I don't wanna be some kind of sicko. some chocolate. Eat to feed it. Give it some chocolate. Eat up. Eat up, my son. Feast. I got you some candy. Let's check the x-ray. your beer here what the fuck happened to this i i said 20 srm I said 20 000 srm i said 20 000 i've been working on this for the last 400 days i said 20 000 I need to... <laughs> thousand srm or like the contamination is at 10 percent We're gonna allow some of the liquid to dissolve. The SRM is rising again. We're gonna let the contamination go up. We're gonna let the contamination rise and the gravity to rise for just a little. Make it, everyone make a con save. Everyone make a con save right now. Uh, you've had enough chocolate for the day. You've had enough chocolate. We need to add sugar. Sugar's next. We need to add sugar next. 200 grams of corn sugar. Eat up, my son. Feast. I don't want it. I won't give you any more than 200 grams, though. I don't want you. You're gonna be bouncing off the fucking walls tonight. You can't even look.
look directly at it, dude. It burns your fucking eyes. Let's let that dissolve. Okay, well, that was the conditioning container. Okay, yeah, moment, of, moment of truth, it's time. It's fucking time. I'm gonna transfer the juice. Trans we're transferring the juice. This is a delicious delicacy of my people. Days this beverage has been fermenting on the floor of my goddamn apartment and the time is come <laughs> For it to be tasted for it to be tasted The time has come We've made oh, I need to let hang on. I need to let it condition for another 21 days It never changes. <laughs> I've been in here for a thousand fucking years, it feels like. Cooking the brew to end all brews. And it still needs more time. It still needs more fucking time. The longest summer of, of ever. Of ever and ever. It's been five years I've been working on the perfect brew for this fucking job. They've been waiting for it. Every day, the people from that job call me and they ask, Tomato Gaming, where is it? Where's the brew? And I say, it needs more time. I look back and it's, it, it does need more time. It needs another, at least 200 days to cook. I hope they cancel. Well, then someone else later on that wants the brew will find that they get what is literally the perfect beverage. They should be grateful. Two thousand days. The day of reckoning. Day of Reckoning is here. Whoa. Contamination. 5.9%. Final SRM. 23,000. ABV. 19.99. Oh my god, and it even comes a little carbonated. Now that's... Now that's the kind of drink I'd fucking drink, I'll tell you what! I can't see through the the drink! For god! <laughs> Batch size, small, clarity, extremely hazy! Black as night it is. Mm. 
Malty and sweet. That's what we like to hear. That's a taste I'd like. Mother of God! This would kill a man! <laughs> this would kill a man! 6200 dark and roasted, 7800 malty and sweet. You taste this, you die. <laughs> you taste it, you die. But you see, chat, the, the malty and sweet came from the fucking chocolate, which we fed it. All right? It tastes like chocolate syrup. With hints of coffee and charcoal and bread. Okay. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? You can't just fucking say that to my beer. You can't just fucking say that to my goddamn beer. The fuck did you just say? The contamination is high. This beer is unpinnable. You can't tell what it is. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's a little something else. Everyone thinks it's a little something else. 16 times heavier. 60, 16 K, 16,000 times heavier than water. No. The gravity of a liquid is measured is a measure of its density versus pure water. Sixteen times heavier than normal water. Everyone knows a century beer was a huge success, Chad. Everyone, <laughs> everyone knows. Matter of fact, this beer has negative bitterness. It's unbitter. Hang on, I don't want to submit this, not yet. It's over there, we have uh, we have not submitted it, I want to edit it still. Does that mean that I can resubmit it? Yes, okay. I want to spend all of my money buying uh, some cosmetic stuff to make this nicer. It deserves it, okay? It deserves it. Go to the shop, I want to buy some stuff. Catalog. Can I edit that? I see like stuff here. Can I edit like what the bottle looks like? If I buy stuff? I don't think I can. Maybe that's stuff we unlock. By the way, apparently SRM caps around 4,000. <laughs> Joke's on whoever fucking said that one. Hang on, I need to re redo this jokes on whoever fucking said that was true foolish what is that clicking give me the century beer uh, I would say this is a, a wee heavy. Oh wait, don't I need to ship it in the one that they asked for? Fuck, what was that job? They're never gonna take the, I need to give it to that guy. Fuck. If the job's still open, folks. American Stout. Dark Matter American Stout. Yeah, they asked for Dark Matter. I just gave them what they asked for. Okay. I gave the, I gave them what they asked for. They should be grateful.
I guess it doesn't matter what I do for package. Oh. Twenty percent alcohol per volume. If you want to get blasted, you're gonna want to go ahead and try this one. Okay. We're not allowed to sell this anywhere. Hang on, I'm not done. Wabbit. And make this larger. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. I can't get like impact for a font. I can't get like impact or anything like that. What a shame. How heavy is the bottle? 20 pounds. Ship it. To submit a beer for a job, it must match the requirements. All I'm gonna fucking say is at last I fucking checked. Last I fucking checked, they didn't say anything about what this beer had to be other than using dark malt extract of which I used 40 fucking barrels. And that perhaps it would be a little dark. So I'm going to gain some mastery points for this one. Submit it, ship it. A local band wishes to mark the release of their first record, a space-themed concept album with a beer as dark as the depths of the universe. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Well, I have the perfect fucking beer for you, motherfucker. I have the perfect fucking beer for you, motherfucker. I can't believe I haven't tried my own beverage. You know what I mean? Kind of like stow this. Well, I spent about a thousand years in this season. It'd probably be in my best interest to leave. And to destroy all the evidence of this beverage once and for all. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, I sent it to them. Well, I got four bottles of it out before I did. The last three bottles. You know, the police contacted me. They want to use these as evidence for something? For something that happened? Uh, I'd like to see them fucking try. They contacted me. They were like, we need this for evidence. There was a crime, a horrible crime. Many people died. And I was like, how's that even possible? And they said that people are using them as bombs. Because when you throw them, they're, uh, they explode with the weight of, like, a grenade. Like, the shrapnel of the glass explodes and actually shreds people. <clears throat> the longest summer of my life, 2012. Another day, another dollar. 
A fresh season is upon us, Brewer. And that can only mean one thing, a new issue of Quarterly. What's your favorite tipple? What? I've always been partial to an IPA, and there's just so... There just so happens to be a job in this issue to brew a hop-heavy beer. You want a fucking IPA now, do you? You want a fucking IPA? I can give you a goddamn IPA. There's one thing I know about IPAs. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> it said all they had to do is taste like fucking shit. I can do that. 99% hops it is. You're going to pour this out. It's going to be a grain. It's just all going to be grain. Fine. I could make it even heavier than the last one. Fine. Fine! Alright, what do they want? I be you hop to it. If a recipe doesn't include German hops, try throwing them in anyways. Celebrate the creation of a community garden. The organizers are looking for a beer that shows off the importance of hops and brewing. The more bitter, the better. The more bitter, the better, they fucking say. The more bitter, the better. The more bitter, the better. The more bitter, the better. The better. We're gonna need to make something that's bitter. All right. Uh, batch size is small. And the IBU is at least twenty. What was my IBU for the last one? What was my IBU for the bottle? For we? Zero? Oh yeah, I put chocolate in it. So this one's gonna be like an opposite. This place is lovely. All right, we don't need to clean this. Or this. Let's get to work. So here we have a normal old New England IPA. All right. First things, of course, we're gonna wanna get 21 liters of water. Secondly, I want to add malt extract to the brew container. Hang on. We already did the last one the other way. Let's do this one. Let's, do, let's mix this one up a little. Add malt extract to the brew container. We, I'm not spending any money on wheat. Okay, we're just gonna buy. Uh, we're just gonna grab the whichever ones are in here. Light malt, sure. I want to make something that anyone can drink, and that's why I want to have as little alcohol in it as possible, and really as little flavor as anything possible but hops. I just want them to be able to taste them their hops that they like so much. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in just a little bit of light malt extract. All right. Throw that in the garbage. Ghost little brush stroke. Steepable grain, we're gonna wanna add some chocolate. We'll just use this pre-used chocolate from last time. We're gonna heat this up till it's boiling. There it is. How's that bitterness coming? We won't know just yet. I don't think we can just measure that. Okay. It's boiling. Remove the steepable grain. We don't need this anymore. All right, here we go. This is the important part. This is, we know this part. Add hops to boil. I don't own any hops. Hop. 
Hops, hops, hops. All we have is cl bittering. Cluster. They want it bitter? We gave them fucking bitter. They want bitter, they say. Fine. I'm gonna make this taste like nothing but shit. It's gonna taste like pine and sap. We want as much acid as possible. That's how it gets bitter. 100 grams. 100 grams. 100 grams. 100 grams. We need this to boil for a little bit. Yep. Move the hops and let it cool. We're gonna let this go a while. I'm gonna really let this cook down and bitter up the way they ask. volume it needs to be at least 20 liters wait a minute <laughs> big ideas today folks in the bitter game Let's get this filled back up. I got a plan. IBUs are back down to 1700. IBUs are falling. What do I need this at for the job? Turn that back on. We'll grab more Marauder. No, no, no. We didn't want cluster. We want Marauder. We want fresh Marauder. Need it fresh. Rebitter for me now. Get back up there! <laughs> we don't rest till it's at 10k! No one leaves! Till it's at 10,000 IBUs! No one's going anywhere. No one leaves. <laughs> Help, oh. <laughs> Everyone shut up. Everyone just shut up. Stop. What? Oh! Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> this is my. This is one of my favorite brews.
We'll settle for a cool 5k. I think. Or is there a chance that this would soak it? Is there a chance it would bitter even without boiling? No, I don't think so. Nor meaningful. Well, we might get some of it out of the ferment fermentation process. Maybe we'll get some out of the fermentation. Hang on, do I have 20k? I need a tiny bit more water in this thing. It's so important. Is it 4k enough for you? Hey, at least this one pours right. You know, that's good. We should all be happy about that, shouldn't we? This one pours right. Let it cool? What are you, fucking coward? What do you think it's gonna do, blow up? We need yeast. You're a fucking coward. Where the hell's my yeast? Neither of these yeasts really speak to me. Clean and tart, no. 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 Oaky, no. Let's see, what kind of flavor? Uh, we'll go with phenolic. Yeah. We'll go with the Flanders Ale. Today. I'm gonna do phenolic with the Flanders. Snow moths, thank you for the gifted subs. Five gifted subs, thank you very much. We're gonna go with the Flanders. What if you just did all the yeast? It probably wouldn't help with the bitterness. But I do have a lot of leftover yeast. My Mima told me to never waste food. This is empty. Why is it every time I pour the yeast in, I never see the yeast actually fall in? Oh, it wasn't, I wasn't reaching it. I kept looking away for a second, and I was like wondering why none of the yeast was going in. Well, no, this is all empty. Have I just been missing it? Now, chat, what I want is for the contamination to go up. So here's what we're gonna do. Chat. Naturally, as time goes on, this yeast grows and contaminates and increases the IBU. We're doing an open barrel fermentation process. Today. We're gonna let the bitterness of this grow and prosper. We're gonna need more yeast. What you're saying is you're going to wait a thousand days. I'm saying there's a possibility we may be waiting a thousand days on this beverage today. Look, it's not evaporating anymore. This is more alive than it is. This is more of a living creature than it is a liquid. I'm a mad scientist. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like a mad scientist. 
I'm like making potions. Arise, my, arise, my ale, arise. Look, the one good news is that it's gonna be clear enough that you'll be able to see the bacteria floating around and swimming and having a good time in there. Cause it's only 7.1 SRA. And the gravitational pull is pretty solid. Okay. Now I have added a kilogram of yeast into this one. And now we're gonna let the contamination rise to exactly 100%. Faster. We're losing leaders. You gotta get higher than that, damn it! You gotta get there! <laughs> Does the contamination still go up if I put the lid on? Fuck, I need it going up. That's fine. If it burns some liquid, I'll just add a little bit more water for it to eat up. Like, eat. Keep going. We need to get to 10. At least. Wait, I think maybe the... No, the leaders... Fuck, the leaders, dude. Chat, legally, if we keep adding yeast, it'll be over the 20 liters to keep it small. Okay. So it's okay. Just pour your other beer into it. can't pour while lid is attached. It won't let me. It won't let me. It won't let me, dude. It won't fucking let me. The game's scared. All right. So what's next on the list of things I have to do for this to be done? Ferment at 20 Celsius for 30 days. Probably good enough. <laughs> this is going to be my funny beer. This is going to be the funny beer. Nice. It's time. Wait, why would I add sugar? That would get rid of the bitterness. We don't want that. We don't want that. Eat up. gonna allow a little bit more of that tasty IBU to get in there <laughs> one bad beer is all it takes <laughs> all it takes is one bad beer in the tutorial to make a guy snap all it takes is one all right, we just got to taste and package this, and we're good to go. Let's get this inside the barrel. Get in there. We don't have enough fluid. 
we'll see about that. is happening with this tube right now. Fuck in there. My IBUs! We gotta keep it above 4,000 or I don't sell! We got there. We got there. <laughs> IPA more like IBS. <laughs> true chat, true. Fuck does he say to me? Not bitter enough. Not bitter enough? Not bitter enough. <laughs> Classic IPA enjoyer. It's gonna need to be more bitter than this. So I just won't be able to enjoy it. Not bitter enough? This has to be a bug. This has to be a bug. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a hundred days. a hundred days I zoom over my child this can't be happening to me I put in so much time is it because there's no alcohol in it is it because there's only there's truly uh, barely any alcohol it's just it's just point eleven percent for the entire fucking barrel is that why the max IBU is 120, I think. This can't be happening to me. This can't be happening to me. I made the perfect beer. I made the perfect beer, man! I made the perfect beer! The people just weren't ready for the perfect beer. Look what they did, look what they're gonna make me do. They're gonna make me take, they're gonna make me get rid of the bitterness of it. They're gonna make me de bitter the drink.
I won't fucking do it. Barricading myself in the house. I'm barricading myself in the house. They they want to push me to this. Fine, I'll make a bow. I'm pivoting to poisons. I'm piz I'm pivoting to actual contagious diseases. I'll do whatever it takes. Pure yeast in a barrel. What was that? Did you guys see that ooze? Oh no, I released something into the air. I think. Oh my god. Let's just seal that back up. There was some kind of fucking ooze came out of that thing. <laughs> well, we'll never know how that IPA came out, but I think we can all agree that it's freaking bullshit that the game caps me on it. It's a bunch of freaking BS, dude. It's a bunch of freaking BS, dude. I made the perfect bitter beer. Last I checked, the job said to celebrate the creation of a new community, we want to show a beer that shows the importance of hops. That beer is mostly hops. As a matter of fact, they also said the more bitter, the better. Well, I managed to overtake even the highest threshold science says something can be on a bitterness scale. Sure, 13% of it is a sentient virus, a single giant single-celled organism that can easily dismantle any human's body if it so much as touches the liquid. But that's a side effect of a good goddamn IPA. And I am tired of pretending that it isn't. This is my... I swear to God, I swear to God, I will take this to the highest authorities in the goddamn land. Okay, I will do whatever it takes to make sure this beer gets the respect it deserves, okay? I'm not actually going to do that, though. I'm going to dump it in the toilet. <laughs> I'm gonna, that's the best thing I can do for is dump it in the freaking toilet and then the virus will probably th like spread through the water supply and like, I don't know, do something. Can I just like put this in storage? Is there a way I can like save this? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just how the TMNT was made. Sell it for use as an industrial cleaning supply. Drink it yourself. It can't even be that bad. All right, you know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Let's take a look. We're gonna take it out of the goddamn thing. We're gonna put it back inside this. Uh, I'm gonna take, let's take a look at the color. Let's see how bad it is. It's, it gets better. It gets better. <laughs> it gets, it's gonna get better. <laughs> that looks like IPA. Chad, that I'm looking at IPA right now, dude. <laughs> I'm looking at IPA, dude. I'll tell you what. Let me hang on. Hey, hold up a second here. Let's fucking let's check. Let me pull up a picture of like delicious IPA. I'm, dude, 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 dude. These are the same color. Okay, hang on. I'm, I'm pulling it open. Look, compare. Right there. Pretty nice. 
It's the color of the goddamn pot making it look like that. Because it's partially clear. If you look at a picture of a bottle of IPA, it looks like a disgusting brown thing, but it's actually not. It's the pu it's the color of the goddamn glass. Let's just let the whole thing come out of the thing first. Okay, that looks like shit water. Hey, let, hang on. Hang on. Let's see how it, let's see how it pours at least, okay? Ooh, that's a solid color coming out of that. That's black like death. Uh, which is wild because according to the x-ray, this thing actually should be a lovely like tan. It's only 6.5 SRM. Make no mistake, I've made something darker than the blackest vacuum of space. Uh, this is, something's wrong with this. This is a biohazard. But, here's what I'm thinking. If I just dilute it with water, eventually it'll be what the public fucking asked for. So according to the math here, I simply have to be gone for about 50 days and it will dilute back down to what the people ask. Dude, it's coming out black. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see who looks like a fool and who does it when I check out the new version. That did not lose much of its overall amount. You know, it's fine. We'll just do it like this. Check this out. One liter of this shit is probably all we need. Now it'll dilute like crazy. And what will be left is a beautiful fucking beverage like the people fucking asked for. Yep, that's done. Hang on. Yep. Stop. Where's the barrel? That's done. That's a finished fucking beer the way they asked. Ship it. Ship it, dude. Bitter water. Needs to be re-yeasted, chat. It's fine, that's easy. We'll re-yeast it, they want yeast. Goodness is I own yeast, dude! Fine! You want yeast, I'll give you yeast. Fine. Not enough space to pour it into the container? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, there's already yeast in there, undissolved and ready to go. Arise, yeast, arise. Oh fuck, the IBUs are going back up. We gotta move quick. Oh no. There's not enough space for this. All right, fine. Well, I'm not gonna waste any. I guess I have to. Get out! Make space for yeast. Again. 
Did he have anything in him? No, he grabbed more. Add sugar. It needs alcohol. That's what the people asked for. There is not, this is bugged. There's not enough space. Yeast needs sugar. But will there be space? There's not enough space, you see, that's the problem. Oh, I just need to be on a desk. Make alcohol, now! Make alcohol. This is your only chance. When I come back in 5,000 days, this better be done. Hang on. This better be done and dealt with when I come back in 5,000 days. It's been 30 days, that's enough for you. 1.36, 21% contamination. You guys need more sugars? Probably needs more yeast. If I was a betting man, I would say this needs a little bit more yeast in there. It's not making it fast enough. Let's get a little bit more yeast in there for the sugar. Probably needs more yeast. Do what I commanded you to do and finish making alcohol now. One kilo of undissolved. Don't talk about that. How you doing? I specifically gave you one order and it was to grow powerful. This is basically a challenge mode where you start with poison. <laughs> I have to turn this poison into an edible beverage. Like right now, it's so important. The problem is there's not enough sugar. I can tell you that for sure. There. Now cook. There it is. It's going up. That should do it. It's full of scarlet rot. They wanted to push me to this limit. I gave them the perfect hoppy beer and they declined. So now they get another century beer. How you doing? Only 3.8. Legally, that's enough. It has to be. It's gotta be. time there it is there it fuck it is perfectly clear almost brilliantly clear that's well hydrated piss water right there okay Extremely bitter, a little crisp, zero dark and roasted, zero malty and sweet, a little bit of spice, a little off, and very hoppy. 
It's exactly what we like. Don't, no one look at the, no one, no one look at the contamination. No one look at the 20% of this beverage being bacteria. This might be the perfect IPA. Chat, I'm not going to say that I'm a master beverage crafter, but only a master could accidentally, while not even paying attention, manage to perfect the gravity to be an exact replica of water while still having poison it within it. Okay, now that's a brewmaster. <laughs> now that's a fucking brewmaster right there. That's exactly what I'm fucking talking about, dude. The phenolic taste. That phenolic fucking taste, dude. That's exactly what we were fucking going for. Phenolic. I don't know what phenolic fucking means. What does phenolic mean? What? Phenolic. Of or deriving from a phenol. But what is phenol? A caustic poisonous crystal. Yeah, now, yeah, now that's what I'm fucking saying is a good IPA when it has the taste of actual poison. <laughs> that is, that's a caustic, now that's a caustic acid taste just like fentanyl. I fucking love every second of it, dude. Egg of wheat thanks to 25. <laughs> Gifted subs. Everything you've heard is true. About this one, everything you've heard is true. That's it. Submit it. Ship it. Send it to hop to it. We did our job. Why did it say that was a bad batch? With how much, with how many resources I spent, you're gonna say that was a bad fucking batch? I'll tell you what, bad, IPA is a bad fucking drink and anything in IPA form is a bad batch. Okay? It's never gonna be we, you know what I mean? Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun, but, uh, man, I gotta give this game some credit with one thing. They did let me do everything I wanted. Uh, some simulator games are only simulators if you follow the rules of the simulation. But this game was just like, I mean, you can make it like that. I don't know if anyone will buy it, but you could. You could fucking do it, I guess. And that makes it a good simulator, even if it's not exactly something that I personally in real life find enjoyable. Uh, anyways, I gotta split because I gotta do some stuff. So I will catch you all tomorrow at the usual time. I'll have a full stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing yet, but part of me thinks at least one stream. I, I know Thursday, Dave and I are doing the Minecraft thing. Uh, Thursday is going to be uh, uh, Feed the Beast Inferno, which will be fun. I haven't done a Minecraft thing in a little bit. That should be a good time. That's going to be a cursed fucking challenge stream. That's like That's like a hardcore mod pack that has some unbelievably evil shit in it. That's going to be closer to playing like swords and, uh, well, mine chefs and monsters, the one I did for that, rather than um, uh, Rustic Seas. That's going to be like a actually really cursed combat oriented D&D &D, or Minecraft thing. But uh, yeah, get excited. That'll be uh, Thursday. We don't have D&D, &D, so we'll probably run pretty long that night. Uh, and yeah, uh, tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm doing. I think it... No, I don't want to spoil anything. I want to spoil anything. Uh, but I will be live at 3 p.m. ish. Thanks for coming on by, chat. Thanks for watching. If you gifted subs and donated, I really appreciate it. Egg of Wheat, thanks for the 25 gifted subs. Awfully kind of you right at the end. Thank you very much. Snow Moths, five gifted subs as well. Thank you, Snow Moths, for that. Also very kind. Uh, Fabby Forum Finch, thanks for the two gifted subs. Thanks. Thanks. A lot of people, 
uh, gifted sub today. Thank you. Uh, Enko Nito, thank you for the 500 bits as well. Hello, funny fruit man. I'm depositing my VOD watching freeze as we, fees. As we all know, you have to pay to watch the VODs. That is true. Uh, you think I'm a goddamn charity? I'm not. Chickens883. This guy looks like he guzzles beer whenever he gets thirsty. Shut up. Shut the hell up, Johnny Murder. Thanks for the five gifted subs as well. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Uh, all right. I'll be back tomorrow. 3 p.m. Got some stuff I got to do. Everyone have a good night. I'll catch you later. I'm going to go chug a malort. <laughs>